In this one, I want to create an accessor method for our request URI because there are instances where it might not come back the way we want it. What do I mean by that? Let's go and have a demo. If I did something like this, posts, and then I also added a get parameter or a query parameter, let's go and dump out what we would actually see there. Okay, so as you can see, we actually still get the query parameter appended onto the end of the URI. And for actually finding or matching our routes and our URIs, that is not what we want. So we want to actually create an accessor method where we remove the query parameters from the end of that. And so what would I want that to look like? What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method called get path info so request get path info like so will now replace this so I'll cut that from there and we'll go over to our request class and we'll go and create that at the bottom here and this will return a string and so how can I remove that query parameter I can use PHP's string token function. So the first thing that I pass to this is the string, and then the second argument will be the token, and so that will be the question mark. And instead of request, it actually needs to be called off of this. So we'll go and have a look at the string token function in a second. I'll just make sure I'm returning that. Let's go and have a look at the documentation for this function. Okay, so it says it tokenizes a string. The string will be tokenized when any of the characters in the argument are found. And so in our case, that question mark will be found, and then that is where the string will actually be split, and we'll just return the URI, the part that we want. Or should I say, the path being the part that we want. Okay, back to our kernel. Let's just dump this out and make sure that it's doing what we want it to do. Request get path info back over to the browser, hit go, and so great stuff. Now we're just seeing this post. So perfect, that's doing what we need it to do. So that's a handy little method. I think what we'll do is we'll actually create one for the get method. So here where we're accessing the request method, we might as well put that in there as well. I think that will be quite a useful thing. And I'm pretty sure that Symfony uses this as well and other uh, frameworks. So we will call this get method. We of course don't have to do this because we've created public read onlys on our request, whereas other frameworks will probably have those variables as private, but this is okay. It just makes things look a bit more consistent, I think. Again, this will be a string, and we shall return the request method. Again, this is being called off of this semicolon on the end. And if we go back to the browser and refresh, then everything should still be working. So we'll change this back, change it to post 23. Okay, this is post 23, so everything's working exactly the way that it was. And we have two handy new methods on our request class.